Hi YouTube, in this video I will be explaining how to install a 3 wire 30 amp dryer outlet. This is a 3 wire 30 amp dryer outlet. This is a 4 wire 30 amp dryer outlet. Now, either outlet or both outlets, let me hold them both up so you can see them together. So either one of these outlets could be used for any residential dryer. The difference in the two is in this four wire dryer outlet, there is a place on it for a ground to land. On this three wire dryer outlet, there's no place on it for a ground to actually land. So that's the difference in the two. In this video, we'll be specifically dealing with the three wire 30 amp dryer outlet. Now I've made a video on the four wire on how to install the four wire 30 amp dryer outlet. Uh, you may want to look that up if you have, are trying to install a four wire 30 amp dryer outlet. Okay, so there's two reasons why you would need to install this three wire 30 amp dryer outlet. Number one, is if your box did not have a ground in it, you would want to install a three-wire dryer outlet. Number two is if your dryer cord is a three-prong cord. If your dryer cord looked like this and it was a three-prong cord, then you would want to install the three-wire 30-amp outlet. See, this, this cord is compatible with this outlet, you can plug this cord into this outlet. Uh, so in that case, you will want to install this outlet. Okay, now let's take a look in our box. So in our box, these wires in this box, according to the National Electrical Code, should at least be size number 10 AWG. You would have in the box, you would have a neutral and you would have two high, this black, and this red would be your hots. This white would be your neutral. And you may and may not have a ground. Now, on the other end of these wires, this black and this red is landed on a 30 amp breaker in your electrical panel. Landed on 30 amp breaker in your electrical panel. This white is landed on your neutral bar in your electrical panel. And if you have a ground, it will be landed on your uh, ground bar in your electrical panel. Sometimes you'll find that the white neutral and the bare copper would be landed on the same bar. Sometimes the neutral and the uh, ground share the same bar in some old houses. Okay. Now... Let's take a look at our outlet, okay? This is the front of our outlet. This is where the actual dryer cord plugs in. This is the back of the outlet. This is where the three wires terminate. Your neutral terminate here and your two hots terminate here. The way you would know your neutral terminates is, you may not be able to see it in the camera, but I can see it. It says white under this bottom. It says white and blanco. This is where your... Uh, white neutral terminates. These other two screws is where your two hots terminate. It doesn't matter where hot terminates well. So what you do, you slide the wires into these holes and you will just torque down the screws. There again, the bottom screw is for your neutral. It, even, it says it on the outlet, it says white. So you would install your white into the hole on the bottom of the screw that says white, okay, and you would tighten down, All right? I like to pull on to make sure they ain't good, and then you would terminate your two hots on these two screws. It doesn't matter which hot goes where, okay? So I'll just terminate my black here. And I'll tighten the screw down. All right. Tighten down. I'll pull on to make sure it's good. I'll take my red. 
I'll put it in. I'll tighten down. All right, pull on it, make sure it's good. Okay, now we're ready to install our outlet in our box. I want to mention something that's very important. This ground, what you want to do, if it's particularly if it's bare in this plastic box, you want to push it all the way to the back of the box. You do not want that ground coming in contact with any of these screws, particularly the hot screws. If this bare copper wire comes in contact with these hot screws, it'll trip the circuit breaker. So keep that in mind. Some people even put tape over the screws so that the uh, bell copper doesn't come in contact with the screws. So keep that in mind. And again, you do not land this bell copper ground anywhere on this outlet. I've seen people do it. Don't do not do that. And do not cut this off. I've seen people cut these off. Do not cut this ground off. Just push it to the back of the box. And if you you need to put black tape over these screws so that the ground doesn't come in contact with these screws. Now we're ready to mount our outlet in our box. Okay, you got these four holes here. They line up with these. These two holes here line up with these two holes here. You got them on top and on the bottom. Okay, I got my drill to speed up the process. Okay. And four. Okay, now we put our cover on. Sometimes I have problems finding. Put our cover on. Excuse me. And that is how you would install a three-wire, 30-amp dryer outlet. I hope you can find this video beneficial, and I thank you for watching.